finally time for Rocktober. Am I right, guys? Well, I'm excited because October is home to two of the coolest birthstones on the calendar, opal and tourmaline. What I love so much about these two birthstones is the variety they bring. October's gems can contain basically all the colors of nature's rainbow in just two fascinating stones. Opal, it's been one of the most coveted gems in the world because there's no other gem like it. Precious Opal's spectacular play of color phenomenon makes it the official unofficial queen of gemstones. This is because of Opal's microstructure. It's composed of many, 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 tiny, tiny, tiny layers of stacked silica spheres. These spheres act like diffraction gratings and split light into spectral colors. The layers of the spheres create an interface that allows certain colors to dominate depending on the angle you're looking at the Opal. So the colors seemingly move within the gem. Precious Opal comes in a wide variety of types. In fact, specific play of color patterns appear often enough to earn their own special names. Pinfire opals are covered in tiny pinpricks of color that create a star-like flicker when the stone is moved. The Harlequin pattern shows regular distribution of geometric shapes, usually diamond-like or square-like. The flagstone pattern on opal is similar to Harlequin, but the shapes are more irregular and uneven. Ribbon opal shows wavy bands of color. Chinese writing has lines of color that intersect to somewhat resemble Chinese language characters. My tattoo artist told me this one says, live, laugh, love. Straw opal looks like a scattered pile of fancy Loomis hay, and broad flash opal exhibits a large splash of intense color. If you're not really into play of color, why? I mean, no, sorry, I mean, everyone's taste is different, but opal still got your back. The incredibly named fire opal can be as clear as crystal, is usually faceted, and its warm colors range from light yellow to cherry red. I could keep going, liver opal, dendritic opal, caramel spice opal, that one sounds delicious, but October has two stones to admire, which means it's time to talk about tourmaline. Tourmaline represents a large group of related mineral species and is found all over the world in a wide variety of colors. This is because tourmaline is more chemically complex than most minerals. Its unique crystal structure allows for a multitude of elemental substitutions. So elements like copper, manganese, iron, and titanium can worm their way into the gem and trigger incredible color varieties. Some varieties like watermelon tourmaline can exhibit multiple colors within a single crystal, but please, please do not try to take a bite. Members of the tourmaline group include dravite, elbite, liticotite, and uvite, but it's not uncommon to hear dealers describe these varieties by color green tourmaline, pink tourmaline, and so on. Lithium-rich albite accounts for the largest number of gem varieties, and if you know your root words, you can figure out their colors. Virgilite is green, rubellite ranges from pinks to reds, and dicolite includes all shades of blue and acarite. Well, much like me in the wintertime, she has no color. Would you like to own a gem that resembles a scattered pile of fancy luminous hay? Hey, me too! Tell me why you love Opal so much down in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. For more information on tourmaline, Opal, and other birthstones, check out the links below. Thanks for watching, guys.